want to focus uh, tonight's episode on Nestle and their collaboration with Starbucks. And the reason is because Nestle has launched Starbucks at home, a new range of premium range coffee products, uh, including Starbucks capsules for consumers across Malaysia and Singapore. The range of Starbucks at home coffee, which consists of 11 products, marks the first time Starbucks coffee is entering the Malaysian market as well as the Singapore market for the in-home uh, market. And uh, this is the first product launch since both companies joined forces in August last year. So joining me is Othman Shraibi, the business executive officer of Beverages of Nestle. Othman, again, thanks for uh, sharing uh, your time with us. Let's talk a little bit from the uh, consumer end of the perspective. Uh, th they're looking at two different brands here. They're looking at Nestle and they're looking at Starbucks. How is this collaboration going to bring about uh, the intended purpose of the consumer not to confuse uh, the offerings of both uh, that are currently happening in the market? Thank you for having me. Um, actually, if, if we just put things back a bit in perspective, uh, Nestle has been, uh, Nestle is actually the largest coffee manufacturer in the world today. And uh, we have in our portfolio uh, two brands that are iconic and, and very strong. One is Nescafe, the world's preferred coffee brand in the world, as well as Nespresso. With this coffee alliance signed last year, August, as you rightly mentioned, actually we are uh, delighted and excited to bring in our portfolio Starbucks as uh, an addition to, to our range to uh, be able to provide our consumers with more premium, more exciting products so they can elevate their experience, their coffee experience being at home or in the office. So with, with these three brands in our portfolio, we've never been so well equipped to further accelerate and drive the growth of the coffee category in the different markets. Uh, uh, before starting this interview, I was talking to you about, as, as a consumer pr point of view, it's, it's rather interesting because aren't you guys competitors? Both of you are selling coffee and you are now selling each other's stuff. Um, if I can liken it, it's like, it's like uh, Manchester United selling Arsenal and Chelsea's uh, kind of products. How, how is that going to be less confusing for the consumer? So the whole purpose of the Global Coffee Alliance is actually to uh, uh, is actually to give Nestle the rights to market Starbucks products, coffee packaged products, out of their coffee houses. It's all about uh, Starbucks, uh, Tivana, few other brands in the in the portfolio, excluding the ready to drink products. So we are bringing for the first time in many countries the Starbucks products into the retail environment and also into the food services solutions and environment as well. Okay, there's also a conversation of why this launch took so long of a time to be done in Malaysia. Uh, because uh, Nestle and Starbucks did sign the uh, collaborative agreement uh, last year in August and it's over a year for you two guys to land here in Malaysia and for that matter Singapore. What's the delay? Actually, there is no delay. We are actually far ahead of our timelines, initial timelines. Uh, you, you have to see these two big companies actually have a lot of processes and, and getting to know each other and to work together is, is actually a whole uh, learning curve. Mm. So it took us actually six months, which was f faster, much faster than the initial plans to come up with a fully aligned range of products to hit the market then the whole rollout has been actually as per the group priorities and we are proudly here in Malaysia actually part of the second wave markets uh, right after China, Japan and some other big markets for both Starbucks and Nestle. It's interesting that you mentioned China and Japan because uh, traditionally uh, these are tea drinking countries and you're launching coffee products in a tea drinking I guess country how is it like uh, trying to penetrate that kind of market uh, in your first wave launch? Um, <clears throat> if we look at China, uh, the, the, the Starbucks launch, which just happened a couple of months ago actually, is, is, uh, is helping us to reach to the millennials, which are used to go to, uh, the, to the coffee houses, and now they can find a solution to brew their coffee, their cup of coffee at home or in the office. So this is a way to uh, further develop the in-home consumption. In, uh, in Malaysia, the way we approach it is to give those consumers 
new ways to experience their great Starbucks into their house or in their office. Okay. So it's complementing their offering more than anything else. Well, then why is it just Malaysia and Singapore in this part of the world? Why not the rest of ASEAN? Oh, they, there is a full rollout plan that is actually uh, set and m the markets will follow one after the other as per the uh, aligned plan within the, the company. Let's talk about the consumers of Malaysia right now. And while I know much of the uh, knowledge that you have on the market is proprietary and you don't want to share with the people you know, what you think about the market, but give us a taste on what you think the Malaysian market is all about, particularly in the sense of uh, coffee consumption. Where are we at in relation to other places around the world? And is the habit of drinking coffee increasing over time within this generation? And what's the future like for Malaysia when it comes to coffee drinking? You, you're absolutely right, actually. Uh, Malaysians love their coffee, but they also like, uh, they also lo love uh, many other drinks, uh, such, like, uh, such as tea or uh, HFD, healthy food drinks. Okay. Uh, when it comes to coffee specifically, I would say we're in a country where uh, we have a consumption that is pretty well balanced uh, in between uh, some tea countries where it is very low and and some coffee countries just like Western Europe where consumption is three four times higher okay so there is a, a, a good balance there and the good news is coffee consumption is growing in and out of home meaning which in the retail environment we see coffee consumption expanding as well as in the out of home uh, section which is all the coffee houses and and the mamaks and the coffee terms of Malaysia there is also the conversation of uh the market that you're trying to address. Um, when you say in China you're thinking about the millennials, going to coffee shops, co coffee houses, it seems like you're targeting big cities in China. Is it the same case in Malaysia where you're targeting city-specific markets instead of nationwide? So there is obviously uh, a bigger focus in the big cities where most of the consumers that are at the core of the target are. Uh, but, but obviously with our rollout plan and uh, all the news we've been sharing over the last few days, actually we are expanding Starbucks at home range across Malaysia and making it available for all Malaysians across online platforms and some of the key retailer chains in the country. There's also the uh, conversation of how this will impact your current lineup because you have many other lineups in at home uh, machines. Uh, even at that point in time, we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, from the Nespresso machine to the uh, no Nescafe Dolce Gasto to the Nestle Gold, and now this. How, do, how does that tie up? Are you just destroying your current market uh, differentiation? Is the consumer going to be so weirded out by the whole offering right now? Actually, uh, we believe uh, in the contrary. Actually, whatever uh, happened in the coffee category over the last few years is that the consumers are getting more and more uh, connoisseurs. They are developing their taste for coffee and for coffee experiences. We see it with the fast development of these third wave coffee shops that we have everywhere now in the country where you have specific offerings of specific beans and the recipes everywhere in every single city today in Malaysia. So what we believe is that this new uh, launch of Starbucks products, Starbucks at home products, it will actually cater to those consumers that are still looking for a different experience in the comfort of their home or when they are in the office. So if you really ask me, I believe that this will be a good addition to our current range and this will help us to address more needs, ever-changing needs from the Malaysian consumers. Yeah, the retail uh, business is uh, fun, at the same time it's tricky as well. Uh, when you talk about uh, product marketing, not business marketing, product marketing, what is the angle that you want to pitch to the consumers at home when you launch, say, Starbucks at home? Is that communication, has it to, must it be clear in terms of what you want to offer in the sense that you're trying to distinct yourself from the existing product lineup? Or it can be very broad, very general kind of statement that you use for your customers? So what we are offering with this new uh, range of products is the opportunity to recreate your exact Starbucks experience in the comfort of your home, which means with these products, you will be able to enjoy the same taste as what you get in your Starbucks while being at home. Okay. So we're using actually uh, the Starbucks range, the Starbucks taste delivery based on the roasting 
blending expertise that Starbucks has been developing for the longest time to basically uh, offer it to the consumers in home. I am so sorry. Now, now you're giving me an insight into a little bit of how this business is going to work. If you say that you're offering consumers a Starbucks experience at home, does this mean that the Starbucks experience in the brick and mortar shops might take a hit following this rollout product of yours? So we believe that uh, with this launch, with this move, what we are doing is giving an extra opportunity to consumers to delight themselves with a Starbucks offering, okay. which is their coffee of choice. Okay. So it's not about uh, taking zero over. Sum game. Yeah, yes. I just want absolutely. It's when I'm at home and I want to delight myself with a great cup of coffee. If I'm used to go to Starbucks, mm. I will happily have my Starbucks coffee at home. Okay. When I'm outside my comfort zone or when I'm in the office, in any case, I will have it in that channel. So it is to complement rather than to cannibalize. All right. All right. Thank you. That was uh, Uthman Shraibi of uh, Nestle Malaysia. Um, if you missed any part of this interview, just head on to astron.com, search for Notepad. Also, you can watch this interview on your mobile devices. Just download the Astro Aoni app wherever you get your app. Uh, thanks very much for watching and goodbye. Mm.